In this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can use Scratch to make simple decisions. Uh, simple decisions are sometimes referred to as conditional statements and if we look in the control menu in Scratch we can see the two that I want to focus on for today. One is called if and the other one is called if else. So the first thing we need to understand and we're going to use the if as our example for this is that this statement is based on the idea of a condition. That's why it's called a conditional statement. And in Scratch you can tell that something is a condition because of this particular shape. And that's what the if block is waiting for. That's how it's going to make its decision. Now whenever you have an, uh, an if statement, a conditional statement, everything hinges upon the idea of true or false and I'm going to show you the operators that would fit or at least some of the operators that would fit into that shape and here are three of them and the only one I'm going to look at today is the equal to operator so equal to gives a result of true or false things are equal or they're not equal and we're going to choose some very simple examples so for example one equals one that is true and if I double click on this operator it tells me that one is actually equal to one. So if I put that here, if one equals one, that's true, which means something should happen. And I'm just gonna have the cat say something when this is true. And so we're going to have the cat say, the condition is true. So now if I double click on that, one is equal to one, so the condition is true. Now what happens if I put in two? I'm gonna take that out just so we can look at it in isolation. Is two equal to one? No, oh, didn't catch that. Double click that, it says false. The number two is not equal to the number one. Seems pretty easy. So if I put that here and I say, I double click it, well the cat's not changing what it was saying. Maybe better than, better than this would be the, we'll put in the one that does it for, and I'll just put in for five seconds. The condition So now if two is equal to one, say, we have to go back to where we were. If one is equal to one, it's gonna say the condition is true for five seconds, and then that should go away, and it does. If I put in two is equal to one, then that's not true, and no matter how many times I click this, the cat doesn't say anything. So if the condition is true, we execute the statement or the statements that are inside this block. If the condition is false, which it is right now, then we don't bother doing anything. That's the simple if statement. The other thing I wanna look at is the idea of if else. So let's go back to this idea of one is equal to one, so that's currently true. And the first part of an if else is exactly the same as the if. So if one is equal to one, this will say the condition is true, but the else side of this also takes into account, well, what if the condition is false? So I'll get a say, and I'll change this one just to be consistent. I'll make that five seconds as well. And the condition is false. So now I have, if I double click on this, right now one is equal to one, the condition is true. If I go ahead and change that to something like one is equal to two, I know that's not true, and this block, if else, knows it's not true as well. And so it executes the second part of the block. And something like this in a program, something very simple, how about we actually, we're gonna ask the user for two numbers, and so we're gonna have two questions. We're going to have two answers. We're going to need a couple of variables to store those results. So I'm gonna call number one and I'll call the second variable number two. And I will set number one to be my first answer to the question, what is the first number? and I will set number two to be the answer 
to the second question, what is the second number? So I'm going to ask, what's the first number? What's the second number? And then I'm going to check and see if number one is equal to number two. And then I'm going to say the numbers are equal. And if the condition is false, the numbers are not equal. So those are my two options. I'm going to ask the user for a number. I'm going to ask the user for a second number. I'm going to compare those two numbers to each other. If one is true, if they are actually equal, I'll get a message saying so. Otherwise, I'll get a message saying that they're not. So what is the first number? Five. What is the second number? Five. Those numbers are equal. I'll run it again. What is the first number? Five. What is the second number? Ten. The numbers are not equal. So there is a, a quick example on how you could use the idea of a conditional statement, an if-else statement, looking at the idea of true or false. We're going to explore this topic in greater depth in future tutorials.